You said you feel like you have more space now to make extraordinary plays without the ship restrictions? Yeah, that now I can move and not worry about someone running to the second baseman. Um, where that's kind of how it came up in the system. You know, just running wild and just trying to make the play. Your heels are right on the grass. Do you ever feel a little bit, though, pushed in since you can't go back any further? 100%. 100%. I wish, I wish I could be a little further back, you know, because that's the fun of the game, you know. You can move back with, like, let's say, a Brero on the other side. You can play a little deeper. Um, a guy that's faster, you play him a little bit more shallow. You play him side to side, you know, strategic. Um, you got to, that's part of being a shortstop, um, trusting your instincts. Francisco, when it comes to the pitch clock, do you find yourself peeking at the pitch clock while you're playing shortstop? 100%. And I, I, um, I, I find that pitchers looking at the, at the um, pitch clock as well. You know, they, everyone's, every, everyone's trying to get used to it. Everyone's trying to find an edge. And um, that's what spring training is for. You try to work around it, figure something out, work with try to figure what works for you and uh, then go a, a little further beyond. And as a middle infielder, have you had anything to do with the bigger bases? Has that been an adjustment in any time this spring? Um, no, not really. I mean, I, I know I have to slide a little further out um, if I'm trying to go across the... Wow. I think we just had a strike violation strike on Gator out. Diaz. He was not ready. Well, we got one out. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, you really played your part in that, Francisco. <laughs>